There is nothing peaceful about Hamas. They have vowed to do this again and again and again, repeat October 7 over and over and over until Israel is wiped off the map. Let us believe them. Let us, let us not give them any uh, aid, comfort, any funding. Uh, UNRWA sh should stop right now. There should be no more aid going in, in, into that organization because we already know the aid is diverted into Hamas terrorism. The aid is diverted into creating those tunnels. The aid doesn't go to people who are starving. It goes to the fighters. It goes to the terrorists so they can inflict more damage. Here's the fact. They're still firing rockets. Uh, for all the calls of ceasefire, Hamas is still firing rockets into Israel. Now, we've got a hot mic moment, moment from our president, President Biden, where he was bragging that he had told Netanyahu there needs to be a come to Jesus moment. Well, my message to President Biden, you need a come to Abraham moment. Abraham had his relatives taken captured. They were, they were captured. They were taken away as hostages. What did he do? What did Abraham do? He went to war. And in that war, he didn't stop until all the hostages were returned safe. That needs to be our vow for the Israeli people. We will stand with you until all the hostages are released, until Hamas unconditionally surrenders, puts down all their weapons, and Hamas is no more. That needs to be our vow. We need to stand with Israel.